getting into the ring is Edwin Rosado, an extensive amateur background. In fact, he was the New England Golden Gloves three-time champion. Now coming to the ring is Dat Nguyen. The 24-year-old Dat Nguyen was born in Vietnam and moved to Hawaii at the age of eight. This is now his second fight after a year and a half layoff. In fact, he said he wanted to have a good management team and he believes he has found that now and he's even added his trainer, Buddy McGirt, to his team, Joe. Yeah, former welterweight champion of the world, Buddy McGurk. Uh, I think it was a great addition for him. Uh, he seems to have his management problems all squared away now, and he's uh, now signed with Capiello Promotion. So uh, I know everybody around him, as well as the promoter, is looking for great things from uh, that Noy win. And why don't we go ahead and take a look at the matchups? Well, these matchups today, Edwin Rosado and Dat Noy win is going to be a fight that's going to be a guy who was a crowd pleasing all pressure in Edwin Rosado against a guy who comes forward, he likes to box, he likes to go to the body in Dat Noy win. They're greatly matched up, and uh, we're looking for a great fight. Their height is uh, very similar at 5'5 five, five and 5'6. Five, Their weights are 131 to 121 to 120 and three quarters. Their reach is 59 with a decisive advantage in reach to Dat Noy win to 59 to 65. Both fighters reach, lineal reach, from the armpit to the fist is 26. So that just gives you a, a, how well conditioned this Dat Noy in is. He has a tremendous physique on him. Well, we are set now for the official introductions. Let's send it into the ring and our ring announcer, Bill Carpenter. Prior to the bout, a special introduction, ladies and gentlemen, working in the red corner tonight. He is a former two-time world welterweight champion, now recognized as one of the top trainers in the world. Please welcome Buddy McGurk. This bout is scheduled for four rounds of boxing in the featherweight division. Your judges scoring this bout are Julie Letterman, Steve Epstein, and Glenn Feldman. Once the bell sounds, your referee is Richard Flaherty. His opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing the gold trunks with black trim, weighing in at 127 and three quarter pounds. He is undefeated as a professional. Four wins with no losses. He comes to us tonight from Maui, Hawaii, by way of his native Vietnam. Introducing Dad B. Dad Win. Referee Dick Flaherty with final instructions. It's going to be a four-round bout. A good professional fight. Come out boxing in each round. Okay? Very good. Let's go. Four rounds of boxing. We are now set for four rounds in the featherweight division. And win an extensive amateur record coming into the pros. Now 4-0 as a pro as both fighters. Edwin Rosado's coming out strong here. Working the body is new in right now. Well, we said he, he said he loves to, in the pre-fights, he said he loved to work the body, and that's obviously, that's a factor here. And certainly wasting no time. Rosado trying to hold right now. Nguyen ripping to the body. They're staying close. They could fight this fight in the phone booth right now. Early on. Rosado's giving it back to the body as well as he's taking it right now, Tom. Judge. Well, he's certainly hanging in there. It's and a very, lot George, of punches very, have been thrown in a very short very period of time. It's not very often you say a four-round fight's probably not going to go the distance, but I, I don't see this going for four rounds like this. I agree with you, George. I mean, not, not, not if they keep trading like this. They're staying right on top of each other. But Edwin Rosado, certainly a tough young man from Worcester, Massachusetts, and fighting showing, a highly touted amateur in Dot Win. And certainly showing he can take some body shots here tonight is Rosado. And going upstairs now as well is Win. Seems like he is starting to bring a, uh, hit him to the body and then bring him up top. He's coming up the middle. Nice dot. Noy win with both hands. Right up the middle with the both hands going to the yeah, uppercut. That, that's the whole idea. We, you start going to the body like that, eventually that uppercut's going to be there. It's starting to be there now, Judge. 
Continuing to be the aggressor is Dot Nguyen. Is it safe to say, Joe, he's looking for the knockout here early? Yeah, I think he wants to impress this crowd, Tom. I, I really believe that. But as you were saying, he was going to the body early, and now he seems to be bringing it up top, and he's really starting to hurt Evan with those. Oh, he's really starting to dig him to the body. Those are belt line shots, though. Dick's taking Dick Flaherty, referee Dick Flaherty's taking a look at it. Well, that's, that's, and the, cup is, the cup is pretty high on Rosado, so. It seems to be high. And the referee doing a good job of letting both of these fighters punch away. Absolutely, Tom. He's, he's staying close enough to watch the action, but he's not getting in between the action. Uh, Edwin Rosado seems like want to get his distance a little bit more. He doesn't want to stay there anymore. He's now starting to use his leg, which I think is a smart for right now. And I'm sure his trainers are going to tell him to get some distance because he wasn't winning the battle inside. Right hand, then to the body goes He loves win. to go to the body. And the back against the ropes, Rosado. That's not where he wants to be right now, Tom, because now Dot Noy Win is starting to come up the middle as well with the lead hand as well as the right hand uppercut. Edwin would be well served to tie him up a little bit more and try to back him up to the middle of the ring. He don't want to be on these ropes. And we come to the end of round number one. We'll be back with more. Stay with us. And let's go ahead and take a look at this replay, Joe. Yeah, he's really, that Noy Win is really digging down to the body. He's trying to take the legs away from Edwin Rosado really on. Then he's bringing it up the middle with that uppercut. Vicious uppercuts he's throwing in that fight right now. We are getting set now. Round number two. Nguyen with the gold trunks with black trim taking on Rosado. Wearing gray with black trim. And what a first round it was, Joe. Oh, it was a tremendous first round. Looks like Nguyen wants to start, wants to start up where we finished the last round. And, George, do you think they're going to keep up the pace or they're going to slow things down? I don't see how they could keep up that pace, even for four rounds. But uh, I was impressed with, given, given the degree of punishment he took and the pace of that fight, Rosado was, uh, was fighting back and, and in that thing all the way. I think I uh, gave Nguyen the round. But. As Nguyen continues to be the aggressor, just landed a few solid shots moments ago. Right now, I think Rosado's, Rosado is letting Wynn follow him around the ring and throw punches, which I don't think is going to bode well for him as this fight goes on. He should be moving more and not allowing Dot, Dot Nui Win to cut the ring off as much as he is. Oh, and and those are vicious shots in there. Tom. Nice shot by Nguyen, who was born in Vietnam and came to Hawaii at eight years of age. A, he's a long way from home in uh, Uncasville, Connecticut here tonight. To the head now he goes. And then to the body. But coming back is Rosado. Rosado's a tough kid. I'm impressed by the resilience of it. Uh, he certainly has shown that he could take some shots in there. And there aren't a lot of guys at this weight who would have stood up to the shots that he's taken right so far. Well, both fighters are here to win. Had a chance to talk with both fighters yesterday. They're both... Very determined and very, very serious about their training. And it's showing here thus far as Nguyen continues to rip to the body and then going upstairs with a right hand and an uppercut. Seems to be tiring. Tommy seems to be tiring him out right now, Judge. Well, he's getting him to drop his hands, which is the whole idea of that body attack. Is, is, he's bringing the elbows down and the hands down with him. There's no lack of hot in this young Edwin Rosado from Worcester, Massachusetts. I'll tell you right now, fighting the highly touted and highly heralded Dot Noywin. Well, Rosado coming off a loss. Said it was a wake-up call. And I'm sure tonight he's he's been woken up again. He's proving he doesn't want two in a row, Tom, that's for sure. But to his credit, he keeps coming back. He's coming forward. He seems to do better when he comes forward, Tom. It's when he lays on those ropes, he starts getting peppered inside to the body and up the middle. And we are coming now to the end of round number two. This one's scheduled for four. It's a good one. Stay with us.